Good morning, good morning. We are headed to the south of the island here today in Gran Canaria to these sand dunes that are supposed to be gorgeous, but it can get very busy. So we're gonna head out as fast as we can. First, we're gonna have some breakfast and I'm gonna prep some lunch that we're gonna take with us on the road. I'll show you exactly what we're going to make and then we're gonna head out. So for breakfast, we're gonna first make some millet porridge. For anybody who's gluten-free, millet is actually a seed, so it's gluten-free. So what I did last night is I actually soaked the millet, I rinsed it and soaked it, and now I'm gonna drain it. And the reason I do that is because it helps to get rid of certain inhibitors that can decrease nutrient absorption. And kind of one of the better perks of it is that it reduces the cooking time by about half. So I used about one cup's worth and I'm gonna just add to this pot. We also got some calcium fortified soy milk. We're gonna add that as well, just kind of covering it and then we'll turn this on. So I'm just gonna add some cinnamon to this as well. I like to be pretty generous with it. So while this is cooking, I'm going to quickly prep our lunch. We went and got groceries yesterday. For lunch, we're gonna be making an avocado toast plus a lentil salad. I'll show you exactly when we eat it later today. So for now, I'm just gonna show you the prepping part. So we're gonna first cut up some bell peppers. But before I add it to the container, I'm first gonna add some lentils. So we just got the jarred variety here, which makes it really easy to just kind of grab and go. I'm gonna drain it first because the water that the lentils are in, that's where all those gas containing compounds are, the ones that make you feel really bloated and make you fart a lot. So we're gonna definitely drain this and also rinse it. So we're gonna just add these bell peppers to this container. And now we're gonna cut up some cucumber to go in there as well. And I think Robin likes it when there's some onions. So that's pretty much it for prepping this lentil salad. We're gonna add a dressing to it and everything, but I'll show you that later today when we eat it. For now, this is really starting to boil. I'm gonna reduce the heat, and I'm gonna add a bit of chia seeds to this as well. Chia seeds also absorb a lot of fluids, so again, we might need to add more soy milk even still. So while that's cooking away, I'm gonna just pack away this lentil salad that's now all prepped. And I'm also gonna pack away some of this low in salt green olives. I'm such a sucker for green olives. I'm also gonna make sure I toast some of the bread first because I prefer it when the bread is a bit more toasted than when it's kind of soft. Cool, so this porridge is done now. To summarize, there's about a cup of millet in there, two cups of plant-based milk, about two tablespoons or so of chia seeds, and a whole bunch of cinnamon. But the best part of any porridge is always the toppings. There is a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my tea I can take what I need mm, This is actually really good. Yeah? Yeah. Yay. It's a nice uh, change from the uh, oatmeal. It's a bit higher on protein also, right? Yeah, actually. Somewhere in the great unknown Return from the after Before we head out, I'm gonna really quickly make some flavored water. This is something my cousin actually taught me and when I first saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, what is in your water? It looks really weird. And then I started doing it and I've been hooked ever since. So all we're gonna do is slice up some cucumber and some lime. And then we're just gonna add this to our water bottle. And then that weird floating stuff I saw in her drink is just chia seeds. So we're gonna add about a teaspoon, maybe half a tablespoon or so. And then the most important part with this is you want to shake it right away so that the chia seeds don't gel at the bottom. And that's it. We're going to take this with us. Oh my god, this place is incredible. It's like you're in the Sahara, but you're by the ocean. I'm gonna go 
back to our stuff. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Don't be long. I'm gonna scorch you here. Okay, boy. So you saw the breakfast that we had this morning and then it was about an hour drive to where we are right now. And for like the last two hours, we've just been kind of running around and playing like kids, running up and down the sides of the sand dunes and filming some stuff. And running on sand is like an incredible, incredible exercise. There you go. You said you wanted to work out on this trip. Really? Oh my god, it's so much fun. <laughs> come on, run, run. Yes. Stairmaster. Come on, come on. Oh, I feel like I'm not moving. <laughs> so both of us started to get really thirsty and hungry and I forgot the water in the car. So he had an orange, I had a plum. That's never tasted so good. But it hasn't sufficed. Like we're both still hungry and thirsty. So I'm gonna run to the car right now grab a few more snacks and some water, come back. We're gonna hang out here a little bit longer. And then, especially given that there's like no one around still, we came early enough that it's not too, too, too busy with tourists yet. And then I think we're gonna head off to our next destination. Don't know where, but somewhere where we can have our lunch. There she is. Explain to me the benefits of putting these chia seeds in your drink. Yeah, I usually put it in the drink because uh, it's just extra fiber, especially when you're traveling and you know you're not really regular. So then when you put the little chia seeds in it, and then you're just drinking your fiber essentially. And to me, it's kind of like bubble tea. I don't know. You don't even really taste it, I like, feel it. No, it. and especially when you flavor the water too. Oh, it's so good. Oh, we're gonna finish this fast. Yep, let me show you what I brought. We have Ooh. pistachios. We've got these oranges, which are, I think, the most tasty, juicy oranges we've had. I'm looking forward to this. I got these two kind of energy bars. They're pretty much just those date nut bars, you know? Which one do you want? Uh, coconut. Yes, because I want the chocolate one. Okay, let's see if I can remember any of my Spanish. Okay, ingredients. Oh, it's in English. Love it when that happens. Mine has dates, almonds, cashew nuts, cocoa powder. That's it, four ingredients. This tastes really good. Yeah. We actually have a recipe like this on the blog. It's like these um, chocolate energy balls. Tastes exactly like this. Oh, really nice. Oh, it's like a bounty. He's so happy he's got his snacks now. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. I think the sand is gonna start getting really hot soon. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god. What's wrong? The sand's so warm. <laughs> I think I need to go deep, yeah. Yeah, but you also need to keep walking. <laughs> you look so cute. Because otherwise I get a sunburn. <laughs> oh, it's hot. And I left my flip-flops at the front. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, this is a beautiful park. All we've got here is a salad that we prepped this morning with some veggies and some lentils. We're gonna crush these cashews into it and also this sauce. It's pretty much just a little bit of vegetable oil and some spicy peppers and roasted paprika and things like that. We've got some olives to snack on and we've got some slices of toast. We're gonna put some avocado on it, some hot sauce, tomato, lime juice. Robin also likes some onion on his. I'm gonna steal it from the salad. And that's it, and then we filled up our water bottle here again as well, so we're gonna stay hydrated. <laughs> Robin really wants to eat. He's like, hurry up, woman. <laughs> I'm used to this. The reason we also brought a salad is because I noticed that we weren't gonna have any plant-based proteins otherwise, and I love lentils for the protein and the fiber, and it's just delicious and easy. So we're just going to pour some of this on top and crush some cashews on there as well. And there you go, makeshift 
quick, easy, delicious, wholesome holiday lunch on the road, on the go. This hot sauce so much. Mm, it's good. It's really good. So what do you think? It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really full. I'm really, really full. Really good. We did a pretty decent job. We finished our sandwiches. We got through. I'm gonna say like three quarters of the salad. A lot of the olives. Oh, I love olives. I feel like I could eat olives all day, every day, forever. It's like that one food where it's like, if you could choose that one thing you eat over and over again, olives, green olives. What would it be for you? Rice. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does it say? Rice is good when you're hungry and you want 2,000 of something. <laughs> we were just in the park for like two hours. It was so nice. We were just like laying down and didn't fall asleep, but just just relaxing. I think we're gonna try to see if we can go to this, um, I don't even know what it is. It's kind of like a park in the mountainous areas of the island. Maybe just get a drink, hang out, and then go off and find dinner someplace. I think that's enough of making meals ourselves while we're on holiday. I think the next meal we're gonna purchase out somewhere. I used to love mango juice as a kid. It was like my go-to, oh, and it's thick just like when I was a kid. It was my go-to drink. Prost. Cheers. Look at that rainbow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Eres perfecta mujer. De la cabeza a los pies. Tú pasas de mi nivel. Tú tienes el piquete De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami Oh, that looks great! Thank you! You're welcome! Oh, that looks even better! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely! Thank you so much! Wow! Nice! You wanna tell them what you got? Um, I got a poke bowl with quinoa and tofu A whole bunch of different kind of veggies and some soy sauce. Nice. Is it just plain soy sauce? Uh, sesame soy sauce. Nice. Did I borrow the menu? <laughs> I don't remember what I got. I know it's a lentil burger. Okay, so we found this little gem. We were actually headed somewhere else, but they had vegan options on their menu. So we tried it out. I got a lentil burger and in it, I have to look because I don't know exactly, is a mustard, coconut milk, lettuce, tomatoes, some zucchini, a vegan dill mayonnaise, and some potatoes. This looks super good. And to drink, I just got a decaf soy milk latte. Usually I'm fine with caffeine at night, but just to be safe. Wow. The burger is bigger than the bun. That dill sauce makes it everything. Mm. How was it? It was good. What? But the sauce was a bit too sweet. And you ordered something else? Yeah, stir fry vegetable sandwich with tofu, I think. Mm. Good? That's very well done. We're both pretty full now and before it gets too dark and we're not gonna be able to film for much longer, I just wanted to say thank you so much for following us on our journey. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Pick Up Limes signing off. We'll see you in the next video. Okay. <laughs> it's just gonna be so loud. I'm like never gonna be able to record this in peace. What am I doing? You'll see. I think I can see it. Can you? I think you spelled it out for me.